It was really easy for me to come up with my word. Leadership is inspiring. Um, and then as an art teacher, it's a little bit easier for me to show you what this word looks like rather than explaining what this word means to me and all the power that it has in it. And so in my class, um, I teach graphic design this year. And as part of my course, it's not a leadership course, but in part of my course, what we try to do is make a word or a title um, sort of convey what it is trying to say. So for example, if I was designing a book cover for The Hunger Games, the title would look very different in font and style and color than it would in, say, Winnie the Pooh. You know, like you have to do it a little bit different. So what does, what does inspire, inspiration look like? And so I started here. Um, this definitely does not capture the meaning of the word inspire. The font is Times New Roman. Um, you've seen this default on all of your computers. Um, it's great for writing papers, but it certainly does not communicate the power and the influence of the word inspire and what it means. All right, so I got a little closer with the next one, inspire. This one's a script font, so it's more cursive, and it kind of flows across the page, giving it some movement, which goes a lot more with this idea of inspiration. The colors, it's hard to see here, but they sort of radiate from the center. There's light, and then it goes out almost as if it's moving outward. This is a little closer to capturing the power of the word inspire. I think I got it with the next one. Inspire. Now here is a visual that captures how beautiful, how inspirational, how powerful this word can be. The flourishes seem to grow before your eyes and spread outward. The color is bold. It pierces through the black background. The font is new. It's youthful. It's fun. It's inspiring. And as I think about how powerful this word is, I think of people that have gone from a life of Times New Roman to a life like this. And the questions for me are, how do they get there? How do you learn to go from a life like that to a life like this? And then how do I make my life from a life in Times New Roman to one like this? And um, a leader that inspires me that we've heard all about, uh, Martin Luther King Jr., I would say, lives a life like this. He is an inspiring individual and the one that sort of came to mind. Um, and I think, how did he get there? How did he get from a simple life to a life where he was inspiring a movement. He inspired us to treat people differently. He inspired us to take action. He inspired new laws in our country. How do you get to be a leader like that, that is inspirational? It certainly is not something that you can just learn in school. It's not tested for on the AP tests, not on the SOLs, and certainly not on the SATs. Being an inspirational leader is not something that you can learn in school, not even in the Leadership Center. Um, it certainly didn't come from being just a good speaker. Um, he was a wonderful speaker, a beautiful speechwriter, moved us with his words and with the way that he spoke. But there are other great speakers around. Um, and certainly not all inspirational people have that kind of power in their voice. So what is it? How do you become an inspiration? Um, and in all the wisdom, the values, the manners that his parents taught him, certainly they couldn't just pass on to him how to lead a nation. So where does it come from? Where does inspiration, how do you become an inspiring leader? And I think for me the answer is this, um, and there might be many different answers, but I think what he was, was he was rooted in what he believed and in his values so deeply and so strong in his convictions that inspiration just came out of him. He wasn't elected to be a leader in that setting. Um, he just was a person who inspired others to follow him. No one got together in a group and said, he will be our civil rights leader. People just started to follow. He was able to just attract a crowd. Um, and I think, in thinking about how my life can be an inspiring kind of life, um, I thought about the things that have sort of helped me sort of discover these things. Um, I think he was someone who's grounded in who he was and what he was set on this earth to do and follow through with that. And by doing that, it just, people just followed and were inspired. And as other people were inspired, they had it spread from there. So I have some different kind, more advice for you. I know you've heard a lot so far. Um, how to be inspired in order to sort of have that life that inspires others. Because if the leadership inspiration isn't going to come from school, if you're, if you're not going to become an inspiring leader just by going through this program, then where will it come from? And it's going to have to come from you. 
Um, I would give a few pieces of advice here. One, take care of yourself. Inspiration comes very slowly to those who are hungry and those who are tired. It will come, it will be very tempting to stay up late when you have to get up early. It will be very tempting to skip lunch in favor of your clubs or for your friends, but you're gonna have to take care of yourself to make your mind and body available for inspiration to come to you. Start a personal project, one that's not for a grade, not for a teacher, not for your parents. What is it that ignites the fire in you and do something about it? Find something that inspires you and take action. Keep a notebook, sketchbook, or journal. As an art teacher, um, it's you know, sketchbooks we talk about in my class and how um, you keep tidbits of things from different times and different ways that you learn. And what you'll find is that by the end of this four years, as you keep sort of little records and tidbits of things that inspire you, you'll find connections between things that you never really thought were possible and how everything sort of goes together. Learn something new every day, every hour, um, every week, every month, every year. Continually learn something new. Find the lessons in everything. Visit new places, step out of your comfort zone, but also discover how you are in relation to different places, different cultures. Collaborate with others, and in addition to that, choose your friends wisely. Um, choose your groups and your friends wisely. They'll have a huge influence on you. And once you find them, share ideas, um, bounce ideas off one another, try things new together, um, always collaborate with those around you. But never forget to take time to be alone. Inspiration often comes in a whisper when you are sitting quietly, reflecting, thinking. Take advantage of time to be by yourself, be comfortable with who you are when no one else is watching, and to seek what it is and who you are in the place of this world. May your life continue to be on that journey of going from Times New Roman to a life of inspiration. Thank you for having me.